welcome back to my channel hope you're all well um, today I've just been for a trip to home bargains I've gone a little bit further afield to the one I normally go to I've gone to a branch that I've never been to before and it had way more stock in it than the one I normally go to so I've got a few little bits that I'd share with you I'm glad we've got back though we got halfway to our destination it just started snowing and I was like oh this is all I need so we just had a quick quick wander around by the time I come out, the snow was even heavier, but I've got home, fine, Toby's asleep, it's all good, and I got some good things. So, what shall I start with first? I'll start with first what I've got Toby. So, first things first, this mouldable bath foam, oh my god, this is a winner at bath time. Well, Toby absolutely loves it, um, it says it's blue raspberry. Now the only thing I would say, it comes out white, it's a bit like a shaving foam consistency but obviously it's made for children in the bath and it's just like a soap so they can wash with it and everything but it just, it's so much fun and uh, Toby can spray it himself. The only thing I will say is it leaves like a funny residue on your bath and any bath toys so I always clean down, I mean I do anyway obviously, but um, I always clean, I have to clean the bath down and some of his toys after using it, but it, I mean it's something that I do anyway, I always clean the bath, so it's no biggie. And I think, were they 89p? 89p? No, 79p. So I ended up getting five of them, because Home Bargains isn't really that local to us, so I've got plenty, because believe it or not, Toby can get through one of these, well probably half of one of these in just one bath time, he absolutely loves it. So I stocked upon them. Then the next thing I got was just a little uh, new toothbrush. It's got like little stars and rockets and things on, always need a toothbrush. And then I got some, I got a few of these and it's a shaped, a little shaped sponge, I don't know if you can see but it's in the shape of a train. Um, I got three of those because the ones I've got him, I need to bin them. He's really into his trains and his car, so I thought he'd like that. So I got some of those, and I think they were 29p each, so they're good as well. Then also, I got now, don't judge me because we're still not potty training yet. Uh, it's, it's quite difficult because he's not, Toby's not properly talking yet. He's got words and he's, he's got words coming out and the understanding's brilliant but we're not quite there with like full-blown conversations <laughs> or anything yet. He only turned three in December so I am going to add that he started preschool. It is going to be next on the agenda to start looking at potty training but for now we're still doing okay in nappies. Now this is Home Bargain's own brand I think and I absolutely rate these. I think they're brilliant. I've never had any problems with them splitting. I've had a couple of brands, supermarket brands, that, well mainly one in particular but I won't I won't go into it. Um, the uh, Recently, I always use them, I use quite a few, I'll use quite a few different brands. Some high-end, some supermarket, any, you know, as long as they're okay and they're comfortable for him, I'll use them. But a particular one that I used a lot from a supermarket, I've had a spell of them splitting and all the silicone gel stuff going everywhere and I've never had a problem with that with these and they are they only go up to a size six and um, they don't do the six pluses uh, I know some of the some of the higher end brands do sevens now but Toby's fine in these because he's quite slim and tall so his waistline's not very you know, got a very big waistline so sixes have been fine for a while now and they were what are they £3.49 and you get 30 in a pack so that's not so bad. Good bargain those. And then last, oh no, one more thing. But these Ritz Cheesy Bites, Toby absolutely loves these. So these are just all right for a little snack at lunchtime. So I got him a couple of packs of these and these were 75p for a pack of those. And then the one last thing I have got for Toby in the bath at the moment he's got like one of those you know like the bath trays that go across the bath because we we haven't got a separate shower and a separate bath it's just a shower in a bath <clears throat> so I can't have one of these fancy bath um I can't remember the name of them you know what I mean the bath 
line the things that go on the top of the bath and you can put like your reed diffusers on and some fancy bits can't really have one of them because Toby has a bath every night and Matt would just get everything wet he wouldn't think to move it if I had flowers on there and things so for now till Toby gets a little bit older I've just ordered a new one off eBay the one that I've got now it's got ducks on the end of it and to prefer we had it for the old house and it's getting a bit manky now I've cl constantly cleaned it but it's just getting a bit manky so I've ordered a new tray a plastic one just a plain white one but plastic but it's not as deep as the one that he's currently got so don't think all his bath toys will fit in it but to be fair he doesn't really play with a lot of the bath time toys now they're a bit baby so I'm thinking about getting rid of them he's quite happy just taking some of his cars and just you know going along the side of the bath with the cars and obviously the moldable foam so what I thought I'd get is I think this was only 89p and I got it in grey just a little storage basket and it's quite deep and I thought what toys he does play with in the bath I think I'll just put them in here and then I can put them away in because we have at the top of our stairs we've got like a cupboard at the it's like at the back of the shower it's like a cupboard at the top of the stairs so I could pop them in there or even just put them in there one like because they'll, they'll drain because there's holes and leave that inside the bottom of the bath and um, could do that just so that all the toys just aren't in a mess because it just looks a bit messy so I'm just trying to tidy up and make it look a bit nicer in there right then moving swiftly on I spotted this frosted pine and apple comfort softener this was 199 and oh, now that I can smell everything um it just smells oh it's gorgeous but I think it is part of the Christmas range but I needed some new softener anyway so for 199 I picked that up and I do like these comfort ones I think that they smell quite strong when they when you've washed everything your clothes and everything and also I like putting them in the sprays like Mrs Hidge does to spray on the furniture mix water down with some water not furniture you know what I mean like your cushions and your sofa and things so yeah that was that one and then I just picked up these antibacterial wipes I use these a lot to wipe down Toby's high chair <clears throat> and they were two for a pound and just for just to chuck in Toby's bag obviously when you're out and about and just to sometimes clean down tables and things when you go for a meal they're just handy to just have in your bag I find anyway then right now we can get on to the pretty things so I just I didn't actually need this but I couldn't leave it I just thought it was so lovely how lovely is that I don't know if you can read it but it says may your lashes be long and your coffee be strong it's lovely and I thought that'd be a nice nice coffee cup that was 2 99 so I couldn't leave that that was lovely and then this was only can you believe how lovely is that pitch frame so sparkly and it was only 1.99 1.99 I do already have one I have it on my dressing table in my bedroom but I actually wanted this one for in my bathroom I think and um, I wanted to put like a little bath or bathroom orientated quote in there from the top of my drawers in my bathroom so I picked up another one of those and then I have seen these all over Instagram and I've never seen them in any local home bargains like I said I've been to but I finally found one oh, so lovely and it's from the Jeff Banks range that they have and it's such a gorgeous lantern it's got an LED candle in it as well so you don't have to worry about keep putting fresh candles in I don't think no it doesn't come with batteries so I can't light it up to show you but how beautiful is that and that was only 6.99 I think yeah 6.99 and um, I think that I might put it on my stairs I don't know I don't know where I'm going to put it but I've want I've seen them and I've wanted one for such a long time so I thought I'd treat myself to that because I've sp finally spotted them and then <clears throat> We actually needed a new bathroom bin because the lid's broken on the bathroom bin so I spotted this lovely marble effect little pedal bin I thought that would be really nice in our bathroom because our bathroom's like white and grey well mainly grey really obviously the um, sink suite is white the toilet's white the sink's white and everything but I just thought marble I'm a sucker for anything marble as you all know it was 4 99 so another bargain and then oh this is a bit of a boring one 
but it was only 199 at the bottom of our stairs we've got light gray carpet all the way through the house apart from the kitchen that's wooden flooring but the wooden flooring's like a gorgeous gray color so obviously as you come in and out at the front door winter's here it's just been getting a bit mucky because it's like a pale gray so in between christmas and new year matt my husband we managed to match up the wooden flooring for that was from the kitchen because obviously when we moved in it was already all done so we managed to find it in a local store and Matt bought it and needed a pack so what we've decided to do is I'll have to insert a photograph um, of it we've decided to put the wooden floor in just as you come in at the bottom of the stairs so it doesn't get, because the carpet was just getting ruined and we'd only been, we'd have been living here since June and we'd noticed that it's starting to discolour. It was, you know, unavoidable because you're in, out, in, out, especially when the weather's wet, living in the northwest, it's always raining. So it was getting a bit mucky. Now the winter months are here. I wanted a, a nice, well, it's only, it's only a plain grey mat, but I wanted a lighter one. I wanted a lighter shade one. The one I've got at the moment is just a black welcome mat and I'm not really that keen on it. So I just wanted a nicer little mat just as you step in to wipe your feet on. But for $1.99 and it was just it matched the decor a bit better. Been better than the one I've got. So I picked that up. And then I've seen again another thing I've seen all over Instagram. They're Wickford and Co. candles. And this is pink rhubarb and pear. Oh, it's just amazing. I bought the ginger one at Christmas. Well, it was actually just before Christmas and I was so surprised because they're two ninety nine for all that and like the Yankee candles are so expensive for these big ones. So again, this is what I've seen. I can't stop smelling it. This is the one that I've seen all over Instagram and apparently it, I, it's gorgeous and it is. So pick one of those up. I think again, I'm going to replace my ginger one with this one because I haven't even enough burnt it all out. So I've got that and then... I also spotted these in the same the same scent, the rhubarb and pear. Now this one, it says, I've got it for the car. Now, let me just see what, yeah, remove the lid and inner foil seal to activate the air freshener. Place the lid on the top. Yeah, so basically it sits like that. So I was just going to put it in the car somewhere. That one was, that was only 99p. So if it doesn't really work, it's no biggie. I've had these before and I'll tell you why I've bought some more. But these little diamante buttons, they're very, very sparkly. They're just like a little buttonhole on the back. So you can stitch them onto things. Um, I've got these before for little craft projects. And these are 99p. And I've bought six of them because my final item oh my god if anybody saw me in the shop they'd have laughed at me I got so excited when I saw this <laughs> it's because I've been looking for one of these every time I've been in a home bargain since the back end of last year and I've never been able to find one and today I found one so I couldn't not get it because I've wanted it for in our bedroom since we've decorated and we've got everything final enough and near enough finished in the bedroom i've got two cube ottomans in crushed velvet one silk like silvery gray and the other one's a pinky color so i wanted a larger one and i've seen them in home bargains and they're 16.99 with <laughs> loads of them i couldn't believe it i don't know if you can oh i don't know if you can see through oh that lady's just falling over there i don't know if you can see through there Oh, I finally found one. Size is 76 by 38 by 38, approximately. That you can just, like you said, you can just drop it down. But the reason I've bought these is because it's, I've not decided 100%, but because it's plain on the top, I was thinking of possibly just gluing, oh, I, don't, I can't, can't lift it, just gluing one of those in each little dimple in there like that and there's six of them so i thought that might be nice just to bling it up a little bit a bit of a diy so yeah so chuffed to bits with that one that's everything i've got so thanks very much for watching if you like this video give us a thumbs up 
click on the button below and if you would like to subscribe as I always say that would be awesome so yeah I'll see you in the next one take care everyone have a lovely day wherever you are bye